When you're house hunting, most people have the usual criteria, updated kitchen, finished basement, pool, and so on. But when you're a celebrity, you may just have some different requests. Just ask Kelly Rowland. The former Destiny's Child member actually found her dream home on the TV show Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles, and one thing she was looking for? A backyard private enough for her to walk around naked in. Anyways, today we'll take a look at where Kelly and her family call home, like her current home in Sherman Oaks and more. Kelly Rowland is a singer, songwriter, actress, and TV personality who rose to fame in the 90s as a member of Destiny's Child, one of the world's best-selling girl groups of all time. Naturally, Kelly was also childhood BFFs with Beyonce. As the stories go, Miss Rowland had a rather rocky home life, so Beyonce's parents took her under their wing and even allowed Kelly to move into their house as a young teen while she and Bee pursued their music dream. Although Destiny's Child would eventually disband in 2004, they sold a whopping 60 million records worldwide, enough to make history and make Kelly a millionaire many times over. At the time of this recording, Kelly's estimated net worth is between 12 to 20 million dollars, so I'd say she's not doing too bad. Since her musical days with the group and her solo career, Kelly has been a TV host, a judge on the X Factor UK, and did more TV work since. In terms of family life, she married her manager Tim Weatherspoon, and they welcomed their son Titan into the world back in 2014. So, how have the two of you grown since you've gotten married? Oh, I think he's taught me a great deal about love. A great deal about love. And for me, the fact that we started our family together is another part of love. These days, Kelly and her fam live in a gorgeous home in LA, which she apparently found while being a guest on Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles. So you may say this property was her destiny. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. You guys requested this one, and I listened, so we'll be taking a look at the former Destiny Child singer Kelly Rowland, where she currently lives in LA, and more. If you like these videos, make sure you're subscribed, and ring that bell to be notified when we post so you can always be up to date. We've also done house tours on the likes of Bruno Mars and Margot Robbie, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. First, we'll take a trip back in time to the home Kelly used to live in up until 2004. This was the place featured way back when on MTV Cribs, and it was her mansion in Sugarland, Texas, a city just southwest of Houston. We don't know all that much detail-wise about this home, except that Kelly paid about 700k for the place at the time of purchase, and it spans 5,000 square feet or more, with five beds and 5.5 baths according to MTV Cribs. Although it's large, it still looks pretty cozy. Walking in, Kelly had a formal living room or great room with double height ceilings, lots of windows, and a Juliet balcony overlooking the space. Her bedroom in this home was fit for a queen. She even said so herself. I love this bedroom because it feels like a queen's room. There were also fireplaces throughout, a spacious eating kitchen with granite counters, a gorgeous walk-in closet where she even had a section for her dog, and a home gym. Outside on the Sugarland property, Kelly had an in-ground pool out back, a large garage, and additional motor court to park her cars. In 2014, it was reported that Kelly had been living in a Miami condo and decided to put it on the market. According to records, she paid $1.89 million for a condo in Miami Beach back in 2005, which will make sense because she moved on from her Texas home a little while before that. Located on the sixth floor and right on the beach, Kelly's apartment was in a prestigious building, the Residences at the Bath Club. This building offers the finest features, services, and amenities, and is home to only 107 luxury tower residences and six ocean side villas. It's a gated 5.3 acre enclave located directly along the Atlantic Ocean on Miami Beach's famed Millionaire's Row and just minutes from South Beach. Kelly's former unit had three beds, 3.5 baths, marble floors, an exercise room, and an ocean view, of course. Tower residences in the bath club offered private high-speed elevators, private grand foyers with double entry doors, and 10-foot ceilings. Other features included large glass panel terraces, floor-to-ceiling windows, and more. The kitchens were also impressive with granite countertops, sub-zero refrigerators, wine coolers, and top-of-the-line stainless steel appliances. 
While Miss Rowland lived here, she would have also been able to take advantage of the amazing amenities. The Bath Club had historic club facilities, being Miami's first private social and bathing club, as well as new amenities. There was a heated lap pool, sauna, tennis courts, health club with a spa menu, walking gardens, and much more. The services were comparable to a five-star hotel, so it's no wonder the building is considered so exclusive. Kelly was able to enjoy a full-service concierge here, valet, 24-hour celeb-style security, and the finest in residence dining at her command. Although she left the beach condo living behind to find a family home in LA, Miss Rowland was able to sell her Miami Beach place for $2.6 million, significantly more than she paid for it back in 2005. In 2018, Kelly finally found her dream home. It was said that she had certain criteria when looking for her house on Million Dollar Listing Los Angeles. Her wish list included four to five bedrooms, a cozy house where she can actually spend time in every room, and a backyard with enough privacy for her to walk around naked if she so chooses. And I guess she she found everything she wanted in her current home because she dropped $3.45 million on the place. Located in the neighborhood of Sherman Oaks, Los Angeles, a popular area for celebs that want upscale but also suburban vibe. Kelly's home sits on a 0.19 acre parcel of land, and although it's compact, it's walled and gated for that privacy she was looking for. The surrounding streets are leafy, quiet, and family friendly, but she's also walking distance to Ventura Boulevard where there's shopping and dining all over. Kelly's LA home is newly built in a modern farmhouse style and inside spans 4,285 square feet with five beds and seven baths. The home also includes high-tech upgrades and security features like a fully integrated home system with intercom activated gates, cameras, and more. There's a grassy front yard with a mature blue needle pine tree and a large covered porch to welcome you with a relaxing sitting area. The front door leads to a long central entrance and to the right, the open plan home has a double height living room with a fireplace. Opposite this is the elegant formal dining room with chandelier and there's also a family room offering another fireplace. The kitchen has porcelain colored cabinets, high-end appliances, quartz tops island with bar style seating, and an additional breakfast nook. Elsewhere on the main floor, Kelly has access to a wine cellar and a media room or home movie theater, equipped with a projector and luxurious sofa. Her master suite here has all the lavish features you could think of, a spacious bedroom with sitting area and fireplace, a bathroom with dual vanities, an all glass shower, and a soaking tub, not to mention a large walk-in closet. And there isn't a shortage of entertaining room for social Kelly as the outside of the home hosts a large stone patio perfect for having guests over in the LA sunshine which also overlooks a sparkling swimming pool and even a spa. So while the backyard may seem on the compact side there's still plenty of room. So I think I'm gonna bring this house tour to an end here after seeing the homes of Miss Kelly Rowland what did you guys think? Although she only owns the one Sherman Oaks house currently I don't think she needs much else. Her modern farmhouse is the perfect family home with tons of space and I can see why she fell for it. What did you guys like best about Kelly's homes, which would you prefer living in? Be sure to let me know down in the comments. I also recently launched a personal channel, so if you want to get to know me better, watch my most recent vid and subscribe because I appreciate all the support. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and let me know whose house tour is next. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!